notices you can see some of them look larger than these um, to size it even smaller so all you have to do you could size a bunch of rings with a piece like this you just cut a little section and then wrap it around the ring and just position it like right down here um, and it will, these small ones will make it just a little bit smaller but you can use the larger ones to you know make it much smaller but I love these I've tried so many different kinds of ring sizers and these are the best I have ever tried and I found them on Amazon and I will put a link in the description to that item they're not paying me to say that I really just like them that much but look how pretty this is
my sister-in-law first started making jewelry, oh goodness, well, 10 years ago, wow, yeah, probably 10 years ago, she made me this ring for Christmas one year, about 10 years ago, and she made it to fit this finger, and it does. This was, she probably wouldn't want me to show you this, because she is, her jewelry is much more elaborate now, it's, it's really cool, but this was one of the first rings she ever made, and she gave it to me for Christmas. This was just a silver ring with a little purple piece in it. I still have it. I still think it's really pretty. And I thought it was really neat that she gave me one of the first rings that she ever made, she made for me, and I thought that was really sweet. This was also, um, I think this was an eBay purchase. It is a teardrop shaped rhinestone. It's just clear rhinestone with silver. Um, that was probably one of Charity's rings as well. She had, she, she is responsible for a lot. Well, she's the excuse I have for purchasing a lot of these rings. This one's pretty. I think this was another CVS ring. It has little, very tiny, amber-colored rhinestones going across the top. I don't know why, but it makes me think of train tracks. It just, to me, it looks like train tracks for some reason. It's very small, very simple, but very neat. If I had to pick a favorite out of here, I really don't think I could because I like all of them. This is another artificial opal. Yeah, I don't think this one's real. Um, I bought this one on eBay. It fits this finger better. I bought this one on eBay several years ago and it has two tiny rhinestones on either side and it's silver. I think I bought this like a a birthday present to myself or a Christmas present or something. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was very pretty. I liked the color. It's just, look at it. Oh, it, it just lights up. I thought it was a beautiful, it's, it's, it's not real opal, but I just thought it was beautiful. And I buy things that I find to be beautiful, and I don't care if they're real or not. If I think they're pretty, I get it. Oh, yikes, look at this ring. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely one of Charity's. I think this was one of my Wish rings that I purchased on Wish. <laughs> look at that joker. Good golly. Whew. That is a big old rock. <laughs> well, I mean, for Charity, she had to have something like that. She would never get a little tiny ring. She would never stand for it. She would have to get one at least this big before she would say yes to anybody. <laughs> so that was one of Charity's rings at some point. It is really something. Look at it. Yeah. It is quite beautiful, actually. A very sparkly ring for a very sparkly friend. And this was a little well, pinky ring. It's very tiny. And it was made to be a pinky ring. I bought it as a set, I believe. A set of rings that I bought at Target or somewhere. It's, it's very, very small. I still think it's cute. <laughs> it has a very tiny little stone in it. Well, it's not a stone. It's just a piece of glass. This one always makes me think of a turtle shell. It makes me think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at it. <laughs> it is completely encrusted in green rhinestones. Whew, look at the sparkle. And see, it's stretchy. It's actually very comfortable, even though it's kind of large. It's still very comfortable, and every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on this ring. Um, gosh, where did this come from? I think this was another one of the pieces of Dear Amanda jewelry at Goodwill, and if so, then I paid five dollars for it. <laughs> it's very, very, it's 
pretty. 
this one was made out of pennies. <laughs> Somebody rolled, squished a penny, and then they added decorative stuff to it. I think I found this at Goodwill, and this was made out of a penny. This bit right here. And it's all fastened together. It's kind of big. So it's a penny ring. <laughs> it's a squashed penny. This is a child, a, a mom ring that I had made with my kids, two birthdays. Those are actually two different stones, but I had this made, and again, this was like a little Christmas present to myself, two stones with my kids' birthday months on them. They are actually two different stones, but they look almost identical. Blush and bashful, I guess. And this was another of the Terramanda rings from Goodwill. Look at the rhinestones on this thing. Oh my word. They are so pretty. And then you have this great big one on top. Look at it. Nice. This one's kind of big. Yeah, I definitely have to wear a sizer with that one. But it was so pretty. I didn't care if it was too big. I had to have it. This was another piece of their Terramanda jewelry that was five bucks for this fabulous ring. It makes me think of Shah Shah Kapoor for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a CVS ring. It has this pink stone. Well, it's not a stone. I think it's actually just plastic piece in the middle. It's just a simple little oval. Here's another one of my little tiny little pinky rings right here with the, it's just a little pink piece in the middle right there. A little bitty baby ring. Oh, here's another one. I bought this one on eBay. I think that's, um, what is it called? A hematite. This little tiny ring. I bought it to fit my ring finger, but it's actually... Uh, a little smaller than I thought it was. It wasn't the size they stated in the listing, but I decided to keep it anyway because I thought it was pretty. Now this ring I keep very safely hidden. This was my great-grandmother's wedding ring. My great, my mother's, mother's, mother's wedding ring. It was very simple. They were very poor, and that was all they could afford, so that was her wedding ring, and it fits me as well. So I keep this one put away. I don't, I definitely don't keep this with my other, my other jewelry. Oh, look at this one. I think this one was in a Goodwill jewelry bag. It's kind of thick. You see how thick the ring is? Um, and it has these little rhinestones going around it, like leaves. It's a, a really, I don't like it. One thing I don't like about it too much, though, is it's kind of like you can't put your fingers together too well because it's kind of wide. But I still think it's pretty. <laughs> Look at this one. That's a charity ring for sure. Look at how sparkly it is. It's, it's very sparkly to be as no bigger to be no look bigger than it is. It's made to look like three rings. This joint down here. It looks so expensive, but it really wasn't. I don't remember where I got that though. Oh, this one. Look, wow. There is a lot of sparkle. It's like a fireworks show with this ring. Oh my goodness. Multifaceted. Very iridescent. Four super fabulous rhinestones. And it's again, it's made to look like multiple rings. But it's joined together at the bottom. So cool. There's just a lot going on with that ring. It is 
because it is very beautiful. That's all. That's a charity ring. I think this was another one of my wish rings. And again, it's not quite as sparkly as I expected it to be, but it does have some sparkle to it. I think Charity's worn that one at least once. This is another one of my CVS rings. It has a pearly, oval-shaped, pink centerpiece. Really pretty detail on the sides of this ring. This one is very comfortable. It fits so well, and it's very comfortable. I like the pearly effect to the centerpiece. Oh, I'll check this one out. I found this one at Goodwill. This was another piece of their Terramanda jewelry, made to look like Lady Di's ring. It's very dark blue. It's kind of hard to see when I'm wearing it, but you see it has the rhinestones going around it. It's very dark blue. It's really hard to see the blue, but it's a dark blue, multifaceted stone. It's quite tall, too. This was only $5. I had no use for it. Like, I will never wear it. But I thought it was so pretty, I had to have it. <laughs> so I bought it. This is another piece of CVS jewelry, I believe. That's definitely part of my style right there. You can wear it either way. I have... A, <laughs> this is a, a ring sizer pad that you can put in wider rings to make it fit a little more snugly. But I don't remember where I got those. It's just a little pad that you stick up in there if it's a wider ring, like a glass ring or something, if you wanted it to fit better, you just put that little piece in there and it has adhesive on it. But I don't remember where I got those. But they work. Well, this one's pretty too. I don't remember where I got this one. I like it to me. It looks like Halloween. It just has this Halloweenish feel to it for some reason. I love the colors of this ring. The way they sparkle. You have the blues and the purples. It's just awesome. A pretty little filigree silver ring. I don't have any idea where they go. I was trying to remember, like, where did I get that? But I really don't remember where I got that one. Oh, this one looks like a spider to me. It's like a spider shape. Lots of rhinestones, and then you have this centerpiece that's kind of a smoky gray color. Ah, shoot, I can't remember where that one came from either. <laughs> this one came from eBay. I saw this one on eBay and thought it was beautiful. I love the rhinestones on this one. It's like a brass ring, but it's so pretty. Look at these pretty colors. It's kind of big, but very colorful, very sparkly. This was a CVS ring, look at that. It's kind of wide, but it's actually very comfortable. It's gold, it's like a, it's not real gold, but it's made to look like gold. This was another one of my eBay rings. I bought several of these around the same time. This one has sort of a an amber or a peachy color to it with all these rhinestones on the sides. It, it really sparkles. This is definitely one that Harvest, um, Harvest wouldn't wear it. Charity would wear that. Harvest wouldn't touch it. Now this one has a big heart, but it's, it's quite heavy. It's solid metal. But it's, I think it's quite charming. I like the little silver heart. Yeah. This was another CVS ring. It's like a stack of rhinestones in 
things I've found at CVS is just crazy. Now these are little stacking rings. I have a third one that goes with it, but I couldn't find it. So you can kind of put them together like that. Um, I think I got these at Goodwill as part of their Terra Manda jewelry collection. And it was a set of three stacking rings for $5. And the last ring today, oh, this one's pretty. I think this was an evil. 